I was a, a uh, what do you call it, non-conforming student or non-traditional student, yeah. My GPA wasn't good enough to get into UH, so I ended up going to a small liberal arts college in uh, Illinois. You know, I was there for school and basically I didn't go to class. Flunked out and then came home. But a friend of mine, one of my classmates from Midpac was up in Santa Cruz, California. And he goes, hey, come up here, I can surf. Get, you know, get good surf up in Santa Cruz. So I decided to go and I went. You know, it was kind of interesting in all of those experiences, being out of Hawaii, you know, we always get questions about Hawaii. You know, you always ask, yeah, oh, what's it like? And then they would ask questions like, oh, say something in Hawaiian, sing a Hawaiian song, and all these kinds of stuff. And we didn't know, you know, and it was really kind of embarrassing. I kind of got really embarrassed one day at one of these get get togethers. And I said, um, I'll, go, I'll go and find out, you know, I wanna, I wanna learn something, at least say something in Hawaiian, right? So I went to the Santa Cruz County Library and I found these two books, one by Samuel Albert and the other by Dorothy Kahananui. And I was like, wow, never seen any Hawaiian language books before in my life. Being the kind of offbeat radical that I was, <laughs> I said, oh, these books don't belong in Santa Cruz. These books belong home and back in Hawaii. So I took those books and I still have them in my office. I brought them home. I can imagine what the overdue fees would be like now. I really got interested in, in more into Hawaiian language, culture, history, you know, just the whole, the whole Hawaii. The UH was the only place that taught it, yeah, at that time. And so I applied to UH and got rejected again. So the only way was to go to a uh, community college, yeah. So I went to Kapiolani. I think the second year I was there, I started to take concurrent uh, courses at UH Manoa. You know, being faculty now, I kind of always advocate for that sense of supporting students that want to learn. So if they have a passion, you know, they're going to be successful. We've been saying for the past, I don't know, maybe five, ten years, yeah, um, heva'a, hemoku, hemoku, heva'a, right? And a canoe is an island, an island is a canoe. So what you do on the canoe, you also do on the island because the island is just a larger canoe. But it's still finite, yeah? Um, and, and there's still social values that evolved from being on a canoe, from being at sea, being surrounded by the ocean. So Namahoi, it means the twins, yeah, in, in Hawaiian. And it's named after the constellation Gemini. We were inspired by Makali. Yeah, we were inspired by uh, the gang on, on Hawaii Island. From a very grassroots level, they built Makali, yeah. We began talking, right? Like, hey, we should build a canoe for Kauai, yeah, 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 you know. So that's how it, it started. What we hope is that we are preparing the next generations of seafaring people on one side, yeah? Um, so understanding the skills, the knowledge necessary um, to be out at sea, uh, whether it's wayfinding, whether it's just crewing on a, on a vessel or, or go fishing or whatever, right? On a deeper level, what we hope is that they come away with the feeling of understanding one the past so they can understand the future and then and then move move forward.